We are humble today. Our days are better when we put God at the center and do our best to understand what His will is for us. Humility is being right-sized. We recognize and accept our limitations and imperfections. We have a genuine willingness to learn from others and an acknowledgement that we are not infallible. Humility allows us to maintain a balanced perspective on our achievements and contributions, fostering an environment of respect and continuous personal growth. We're going to start with the serenity prayer, and then we'll go into the daily reflections. If you or someone you know are questioning yourselves about whether or not you're an alcoholic or whether they are an alcoholic or drug addict, reach out. We can help you. You don't have to do it alone. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. On Nourishing Ingredient, July 14th, where humility had formerly stood for a forced feeding on humble pie, it now begins to mean the nourishing ingredient, which can give us serenity. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 74. How often do I focus on my problems and frustrations? When I am having a good day, these problems shrink in importance and my preoccupation with them dwindles. Wouldn't it be better if I could find a key to unlock the magic of my good days? for use on the woes of my bad days. I already have the solution. Instead of trying to run away from my pain and wish my problems away, I can pray for humility. Humility will heal the pain. Humility will take me out of myself. Humility, that strength granted to me by that power greater than myself, is mine for the asking. Humility will bring balance back into my life. Humility will allow me to accept my humanness joyously. When we seek humility by admitting our powerlessness and taking action to align our will with our higher power, we have tapped into an endless supply. Peace and tranquility come fast and hard because we are no longer concerned with results and trying to control anything. We do our part and our role becomes clear. We do the next right thing not the self-serving thing. Our motives are now other-centered. To those of us who have hitherto known only excitement, depression, or anxiety, in other words, to all of us, this newfound peace is a priceless gift. Something new indeed has been added. During this process of learning more about humility, the most profound result of all was the change in our attitude toward God. And this was true whether Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.